G'day folks, it's Rico here, and today we're going to talk about advanced winching techniques. Now, if you're new to winching, make sure you check out our other clips on the basics before you get stuck into this kind of stuff. To carry out advanced recovery techniques, you're going to need a few more pieces of equipment to add to your arsenal. Of course, we're still going to use our tree trunk protector, our winch dampener, and our bow shackles, but the other things you're going to need to bring with you is a winch extension strap, a pulley block, and a second winch dampener. A double line pull is exactly what it sounds like. That is where we use the winch rope and a pulley to halve the load on the winch. We start by running our rope up to our anchor point, which has a pulley block attached to it. We run the rope through the pulley block, and then instead of anchoring at the tree, we anchor it back to a rated recovery point on the front of the vehicle. Another advantage of the double line pull is that the speed of the recovery and the speed at which the rope is spooled back onto the winch is halved. This is going to give you a whole lot more time to concentrate on getting things right. Well there you go, that's a basic double line pull. And here's a few little tips to remember when you're out there doing it yourself. Firstly, let the winch do the work. That's what it's there for and that's why we've halved the load. The second point is to make sure that you've got a mate out the front keeping an eye on how that rope is stacking onto the winch. You want to avoid it bunching up because that's not good for the rope. And lastly, before you pack your gear away, make sure you check that it's in good condition so that it's safe to use next time. The next technique we're going to demonstrate is the slingshot winch. Now this is a great technique for when you've got a mate who might find themselves in a bit of a sticky situation. And it's also handy to keep your vehicle well out of harm's way. This technique can also be used for clearing the track of fallen trees and heavy objects. Right, here's a tip. Remember, you're recovering your mate. So why not let him do all the work? Come on mate, get up here do some work. Another trick that we're going to do here is with our anchor point. We're actually going to raise it up a little bit from the base of the tree without going crazy, probably around three feet will do it. And what that's going to do is a couple of things for us. Number one, it's going to take the winch rope away from the abrasive rocks. And number two, instead of winching the vehicle down into the obstacle, it's going to winch it up and help it. When you're carrying out the slingshot winch technique, it's important to keep a very clear and open line of communication between you and the vehicle that's being recovered. In this instance, we're going to use UHF radios. You got a copy, Lou? Copy, Rick. All right, mate, we're going to start winching. No worries mate. Alright, well there you go, that's the slingshot technique. Before you go out and try this one yourself, there's a couple of tips to remember. Firstly, make sure the lines of communication are open at all times, that's the number one golden rule. Number two, make sure that your dampers are always where they need to be, and if that means you need to hop out of your vehicle and adjust them, then make sure you do that. Lastly, before you pack up your gear, make sure you inspect it and that it's going to be safe to use next time. For more information, head to offroadadventureshow.com.au.